Hi, my lovely Frosty fam. It's me, Karen Frost, here at Now Decadence, and I'm back with another video. Ooh, ooh. Sorry, it's been, oh, it's been longer than I expected, but oh yeah, I'm back. I'm back. Anywho, just showing you some bits and bobs that the lovely people at Born Pretty have sent to me for uh, review to try out, etc. And um, yes, yeah, so I'm just going to share with you that haul. If you don't want to see the haul, obviously you can skip to the timestamp of the you know next section of the video. But these are the bits and bobs that I've got. So thank you, lovely people at Born Pretty. I appreciate you guys hanging with me as usual. They're fabulous. They're fabulous. They've been so patient with me. I've said it before, but yeah, they're 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 brilliant. They they've really been so kind. So thank you very much, Born Pretty. And um, as you saw, the uh, my discount code is available if you wish to purchase anything from Born Pretty. That is a affiliate discount code. So. I would get um, a few pennies for myself if you were to purchase using my code. So yeah, if, if you want to do that, you're most welcome to. If you don't, of course, that is entirely your choice. But if you do, I really appreciate it. So there, yeah. Um, so I'm just going to show you the bits and bobs that I've got. I'm going to be using that, that pink. It's, ugh, you know what I'm like, the cat eye. It's so pretty. Oh, it, and it's got these, um, like holographic glitter particles in it so it's super super pretty really pretty um that that purple one as you can see i just put it onto the lamp to warm it up a bit it's a thermal one so it changes color so it goes when it's warm it goes to that really sort of light um almost bubblegummy type pink um, but not quite bubblegum pink, so, you know, it's not quite as bright as that, but it's, 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 it's getting towards there. And then when it's cool, it's more of a sort of bluey, violety, purple kind of colour. Oh, it's just really pretty. I love thermals as well. So yeah, that that is, that is that's what they use. Ah, sorry. <laughs> Losing my words. That's what those swatches look like. And then for the design I'm going to be creating. These are the bits and bobs that I have chosen to use to create the design. So yeah, there we go. So whilst I'm prepping the nails, all I'm doing is removing the natural shine from the nails very gently. I'll tell you what's been going on. The, the latest thing I'm dealing with. Look at my wrist. Um, yeah, it's causing a great deal of pain through to my hand and the muscle um, it, by my thumb um, in the palm of my hand it's causing problems with my grip on my fingers it's causing pain that goes up my arm to my elbow and that is partly the reason why it has taken me so long to get this video filmed and out because I've been dealing with that um, it is I've had it uh, what's it called scanned um by ultrasound uh it is it's, it's a cyst so it's not you know a major issue in that sense you know but the problem with it is because it's sitting directly on top of my tendons and a main artery that's what's causing my pain issues and um my grip problems problem is the NHS in uh, the UK, they will not remove it unless it becomes so bad that I lose um, motion, full motion in my wrist or it becomes so inflamed that it's infected and dangerous. That's the only time they'll remove it. So um, looks like I've got another thing to live with. Great, because you know, I'm doing so well. <laughs> I, I swear um, sometimes it just it really does get to me so I'm not gonna lie I'm struggling I've got uh, some other health issues going on at the moment to add to that which uh, uh, I've just got so much going on I've got some more problems with some internal um, organs and 
other things uh, it's just uh, going through it but I'm trying <laughs> as usual I'm trying but no I am I am a bit overwhelmed not gonna not gonna lie but that's what's going on with me and I will soldier on as best I can so yeah it, it, things are just never going to plan to be honest it's just it's a it's a slog and a half just it's just it's just a lot so anywho enough of the doom and gloom because it's just far too depressing but I know there are a lot of you who want to know what's going on with me and 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 I, obviously I'm not going to tell you guys exactly all that's going on with me but you know I'll give you a few bits and pieces because I know you guys uh, you do care and I really appreciate that so yeah that's what's going on with me anywho let's get back to the nails like I said because it's just far too depressing I hope you are all well before I get back to the nails that is I hope you're all well um I'm sending you all lots of love and prayers and and just best wishes because life is tough for everyone right now of course a uh, lot going on in the world as usual as when is there not a lot going on in the world the world has gone mad even more mad than it was before but uh, yeah mm, lots going on right enough of that let's get back to the nails so as you saw i am using the full cover tips using the um oh nail tips gel it's good really good for applying the full cover tips so all you need to do if you're working with natural nails is to remove the natural shine from the nail remove all the dust give it a bit of a dehydrate with a with um some rubbing alcohol and a lint free wipe to remove all the dust and that also helps to remove any of the the uh, oils from the nail plate then you can go ahead and apply the full cover tips using the nail tips gel and um flash cure it in place as you saw that i um the way i did it just don't let go of it as much as i did because i one of my um nails started to come back up because i didn't hold it in place um i let it go but yeah so to try not to do that because you'll get air bubbles underneath at um the full cover tip and you don't want that that can cause issues so anywho because it's on hand dolly i i, I if it was on a real person i would have taken that nail off and redone it but because it's hand dolly I've, I've left it on but um yeah just be be aware of that don't get air bubbles trapped underneath you, you really don't want that um and then yeah as you saw i would room i removed the tacky layer from any of the exposed gel then whizzed around that cuticle area got it nice and flush with the natural nail so that it doesn't cause any problems when it's growing out because you don't want it getting caught on your hair and 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 whatnot and um then i just used my sanding band to remove the shine from that the full cover tip itself and which gives it um a better surface for the gel polish to adhere to um gel generally just doesn't like sticking to shiny surfaces so you want to um remove the shiny layer from the uh full cover tip that way when you gel polish over it as you can see as i'm doing now with my gel polish um it will adhere really nicely the i like these full cover tips also because um as i showed you earlier on they're etched in the in the well of the nail they, they, they're etched to um sort of the length of a, the way a natural nail would be a nail bed should i say nail bed they're, they're, it's already sort of etched for you so you don't have to etch the inside of the full cover tips which is great it saves you that that faffing around in that time um so these are oh yeah i really like these full cover tips so as you can see i'm just going to continue gel polishing remember when you're gel polishing keep your layers nice and thin always better to do two layers 
thin layers of gel polish than to do one thick layer that way you're making sure that it's um, curing all the way through and try to use the lamp that goes with the products from the same brand so that you know that the wavelength and frequencies of the LED or Sun UV type lamps are compatible with the gel polish so that you're getting it to cure all the way through which helps to avoid against allergies and um, for when you're removing the gel polish because you know generally we when you're removing the gel polish some of it will get onto the fingers whether it's by dust or whether you're scraping it off and if that gel polish hasn't been cured all the way through that can cause allergies and you don't want that um so yeah what else did i want to tell you oh i can't remember oh i'm going to be doing uh an ombre using the pet paint gel um this little um device that you saw you can see me using it's actually a jewelry picker like gel um not gel gem picker upper thingy me bob if you want one of those just check out my amazon storefront link in the description box below and uh yeah grab yourself one it saves you getting your fingers messy when you're um doing things like this it's also great for when you're um stamping and stuff as well so yeah it's just a handy little tool to keep your your fingers um, um out of getting exposed to uncured gel products which again like i said you don't want nail products made for nails not made for skin and uh, the last thing you want is to, to develop an allergic reaction um, and contact dermatitis which is can be quite painful and uh, sore and it doesn't look very pretty so the last thing you want to do is end up not being able to have your nails done anymore and we don't want that so yeah try and make sure you do all that you can to keep uh, gel products or any nail products off the skin and as you can see I'm just working the sponge in different angles to sort of um so like i've got on one part of the sponge i've got where i put it into the gel polish or the gel paint but the other side of it is um more clean and i'm sort of sort of tilting my hand as i go up towards the middle and sort of um blending out that ombre so that i've got less as i'm going down I hope I'm making sense it's hard to describe what I'm doing but you can see the way I'm angling that sponge so where I'm trying to get it to thin out further down I'm using the side the the edge of the sponge that has less gel product on it as opposed to where I'm doing the very tip I'm, I'm making it the most opaque bit there so yeah that, that's why you can see I'm, I'm using both sides of that sponge in different ways just to get that ombre the way that I would like it to be yeah, that's all it's hard to describe with words I'm yeah I'm kind of a bit out of practice of describing things <laughs> most definitely out of practice in describing things almost finished with that one now before I cure that, I'm going to put a layer of the Magnetic Cat Gel on the little finger first. Just a even layer of this. You don't want it super thick either, again, you want to keep your, la your layers thin. Um, because this does have the glitter particles in it, I am going to um, make sure that I'm not swiping the glitter particles away from where the cuticle area is you have to be a bit more careful with your application um when you've got glitter particles in a in a gel polish because if you're um pressing the brush too firmly along the nail uh you can sort of swipe away the glitter particles and you don't want that so i'm just testing out how i want this to look and i, I thought i'd try the sort of you know the the standard cat eye gel polish way with just where you kind of get that line and then I was like no I want my 
<laughs> oh, my velvet look. <laughs> look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? And it's just like, yeah, I always end up doing the velvet look. I can't help it. I just, I absolutely love it. It's just, it kind of glows in a way and looks like velvet and it's just beautiful. And those holographic particles are stunning. Uh, it, the camera doesn't do it justice in real life those holographic particles are stunning and it's an even better velvet looking person as well the way it kind of glows it's really cool so anyway cured that in place and now i'm going to um, just do a very simple basic nail design on the middle finger and it's not you know you know what i'm like i keep it simple when it comes to drawing because i can't draw for toffee but i wanted to include some more of that cat eye and so yeah that's why i'm doing a design on the middle finger and it also coordinates then in with the little finger and it doesn't make the little finger look odd and out of place if i'd have left it totally um just on its own with just the ombre on the other three nails I think it would look odd so just to sort of tie the design together and make it a more of a you know cohesive set that makes sense instead of being the odd nail out by adding that little just a very simple design just makes the the nail set flow just that little bit nicer and then I'm also going to add a couple of these really cute um, holographic flowers now as I was putting that on I noticed that it started to lose some of its holographicness and I think because I was sort of swiping it with that metal um, tweezer I think I was scraping off some of the holographic effect when I just sort of pressed it down with my um, finger it was fine but where I had um, use the metal to sort of push it down and, and 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 swipe it i scraped off some of that holographic effect so i'm just going to remove that sticker which you can do because obviously these nails have, have been cured um so there is a tacky layer there but you're not going to disturb the design underneath by removing that sticker so yeah just remove that sticker put another one on and this time just pat it with my fingers and there we go bob's your uncle sorted and now it's time to top it off and keep it tough. Oh yeah. So I'm going to just top coat generously, but not, to, you know, you don't want to flood the cuticle area or anything like that with that um, top coat. Just a nice, decent layer. It's all good. Um, also, please excuse the state of my nails. They are a mess. And uh, yeah, they are definitely overgrown. And... Um, as you can see i've got chipped gel polish it technically didn't chip it was a case of me trying to um, cut some onions and my hand spazzing out and i actually um caught my nail with the knife and <laughs> sliced my gel polish off so technically it didn't chip i sliced it off but yeah <laughs> that's why it looks like crap but anyhow we are at the end of the video obviously with some footage at the end of course and some photos so I, for now i'd like to say thank you very much for coming to my channel spending some of your most precious time with me i appreciate you ever so much if you've enjoyed this video it's helped you in any way shape or form please click that like button join the frosty fam i'd love to have you as well you know click subscribe and all of that and if you feel like it you can leave me a comment i'm more than happy to talk to you but yeah that is all i've got for this time my lovelies you take care now peeps and i will speak to you all again soon massive hugs to everybody take care now bye